guys and welcome to Explain It Like I'm Five. Today I will be discussing what causes your foot to fall asleep. Everyone experiences their foot falling asleep, but have you ever wondered why it happens? Well there's a very simple explanation. So there's a name for that tingly pins and needles feeling you get when your foot falls asleep, and that's called parathesia. A common misconception is that parathesia is caused by a lack of blood circulation in your foot. But this is not the case. It actually has to do with your nerves. Nerves run throughout your body and carry messages from your brain to other parts of the body. If you sit on your foot or have it in a weird position for too long, you compress the nerves. When the nerves are compressed, the communication between your brain and your foot is temporarily disrupted. You can't feel anything in your foot because it isn't communicating with your brain. If you also happen to be compressing arteries in that area, it can reduce the blood flow to your nerves, also contributing to the miscommunication. When you move your foot, your nerves begin to communicate with your brain again, and everything goes back to normal. It will probably feel tingly and weird, but that's natural. And it can happen to other parts of your body too, like your legs and your arms and your hands. One time I woke up, and my arm, I literally lifted my arm, and it just kind of like fell limp. And I was like, oh my gosh, and it was so like tingly and weird, and I couldn't move it, and I freaked out, but it was just asleep, because... I was compressing it while I was sleeping, but it was the weirdest feeling and like kind of freaky. <laughs> so here are some tips on what to do if your foot or another limb falls asleep. It's kind of your natural reaction to shake it and hit it and stuff, um, but here's some other ways that might help it um, wake up a little bit faster. Reposition yourself to stop the pressure on your nerves. Move your foot in circular motions to help increase the circulation. Gently massage your foot and that's about it. <laughs> Just move it around a little bit and... It should go back to normal um, pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry, you don't have to freak out. The only time you really would have to worry is if it happens really frequently or it takes a really long time for it to go back to normal or it happens without even compressing your nerves or putting any pressure on your foot or anything like that. Or any part of your body really. But really it's very common and not anything you need to worry about and it just has to do with your nerves. So now you guys know what happens when your foot falls asleep. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, it'd be awesome if you subscribed to my channel. Um, I post every Friday a new video about a random topic. And please, please, please give me suggestions. Um, because I want to do stuff that you guys want to hear about. So. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. This is the white door face. It's still really hot and it will take a trillion years to cool down. Can you imagine how hot that is? What if you made cookies and they took a trillion years to cool down? <laughs> you couldn't eat them for tr a trillion years. Think about how long that is.